Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is a look at the two-player version of Libertalia, Winds of Gale Crest. We're also going to look at some colorblind issues with it. And this is a game from Stonemeyer Games. It is a new version of Libertalia, and this is the Winds of Gale Crest. It is for one to five players. We're going to focus on the two-player mode. And this is a game I purchased used from someone in our gaming group. So again, as you know, you have supply chain issues, rising cost of board games, shipping, inflation, $6 a gallon gas, buying game used is a great option. So I highly recommend, uh, you know, checking out seller's markets, secondhand markets. You get great games, and we're very lucky to get Libertalia. This is a game I was interested in because I do like some of the other games by this designer. And I had almost purchased... Speaking of secondhand games, at a seller's market, the original version, which, uh, you know, some people say is is better. I've never played it. You know, my friend Board Game Bullocks is a huge fan of the designer and the, the original version. And a lot of people really do like that version. But one reason I ended up not getting it is I usually play games uh, two players. And it's usually me and Little Shogunstein. So one nice thing about the Stonemeyer version is it has a two-player option, which I'm going to show you here, which is the addition of the midshipmen. Now, some people that were fans of the original game uh, liked the original art better because it had, in their opinion, more of a piratey theme. And i got to be honest with you, looking at the art at that original version that I saw at the seller's market, I do like that art better. However, if I had purchased that game... I would not be able really to play it because three players uh, plus uh, is a little difficult here. So this version, again, has the two-player game with the addition of the midshipmen and also a solo mode. So even though I like the art better on that original version, I got to uh, say this is the version that would be better for us. But I completely understand why people might have liked the original version better. So you have a midshipman here that is sort of a third player that allows you to play at uh, two players. And me and Little Shogunstein have had quite a bit of fun uh, playing this using the uh, midshipmen. So we really do enjoy this game. And the overall components and the presentation is, as you would expect from Stonemeyer Games, is fantastic. you got these great uh, treasure boxes where you're going to keep track of your loot and you know, how much your uh, gold is, is, is worth. When I say loot, I mean uh, the gold, because the loot, depending on what version of the game you have, they're going to have different powers. And uh, what's also nice about the game is there are two sides to the board. Little Shogunstein is a little more aggressive in his board gaming, so he liked the version here with the more aggressive um, loot um, options. You can flip the board, and there are less aggressive loot options. And then there's a third option using the uh, these little uh, cardboard cards where you can mix and match. So if I wanted to have the sort of quote-unquote nicer version of the barrel loot, I could uh, just mix and match or go the other way. If I had the board on the nicer side, and I could flip it this way. So that's a, a good option. So you have really high quality uh, pieces. You have really nice quality loot chips. You have um, high quality uh, card material. Nice insert. Again, excellent uh, production of the, the game. Now, in terms of colorblind issues, I think they did a, a very nice job overall with most of the issues regarding uh, colors. So with the loot tokens, yes, the actual color of the token, see here, these colors are, are very close for uh, my color blindness. I can't really tell the difference between these two colors. However, they have a symbol, so it's very easy to tell them apart. So you have the saber, you have the barrel. So it's very easy for me to see that this is the saber, very easy for me to see this is the barrel. Had they not had the uh, icon on there, it would be a different story. So I always like Stonemeyer games because they have a lot of good icons, use of icons with the colors. 
even with the decks of, of cards, you're going to see, you know, each player is going to have a hand of uh, 40 cards, and you're going to designate a player who's going to mix up their cards, pull out six, then you're going to match the six, and then you're going to use, depending on the which voyage you're on, you're going to end up with cards left over. So there's a neat mechanism. But what they've done is very nicely put different ships on the back of the decks. So again, it's easier to differentiate what color deck is what color deck. Now, however, on the other hand, if you flip it over, it can be a little difficult. So they have the, you know, the color in the corner, and it can be a little trickier uh, looking at it this way. And in fact, I didn't realize in our first game that the deck of cards corresponded with the reputation track. But again, on the front of the card, when you separate the decks into the box, they have a different ship. So that does make it easier. Maybe they could have put that little symbol in, in the corner. The biggest problem I have color blind issue wise is the reputation track. Again, one, I didn't realize, um, Little Shosteen, who's not colorblind, picked it up right away. I didn't realize that, again, the cards were matching the reputation track uh, tiles. But here, for instance, here's probably the biggest issue. It's not a huge issue. And again, you can, you know, it's not a, it doesn't make the game unplayable if you're colorblind. In fact, I found it, for the most part, very colorblind friendly. But my one criticism would be this. In the reputation track, these two colors, which again correspond with the card colors, look very similar to my colorblindness. And with no symbol on top, it makes it hard for me to tell them apart. Again, if they had done something like they did with the loot tokens, I think that would have been better. But I found this game a lot of fun. At two players, we enjoyed using the midshipmen, and there's a neat mechanic where um, if your card is next to the midshipmen there, to the, you know, on my left, the other player gets to eliminate one of the loot tokens and kind of can stick you with, you know, loot that maybe you don't want or, or need. So we enjoyed that mechanism. We had, uh, again, a terrific time playing it at uh, two players. And uh, again, I've never played the original. I've seen it. I like that art better, but I've never played it. So those people who say the original is better, I have nothing to uh, compare that to because I never played the original. And I, again, I got to agree that the art looks better on the, the original. Um, the theme here is, is pirates, uh, you know, Give me pirates. I'd rather have pirates than, than these, these like, uh, animals, animal pirates. But that's just me. And, again, it's a small criticism because we've really enjoyed the, the, the game. And I, I really enjoyed it that I was able to get it used, that someone else was able to enjoy it, play it. And when they were done playing it, I was able to get it for uh, a price cheaper than uh, a lesser game at, uh, say, Target or, you know, a big box store. So... Really enjoyed a two-player version of, of Libertalia. And, and again, for in terms of colorblind issues, found it uh, very colorblind friendly overall. Just a little slight criticism here. Maybe they could have put some sort of symbol to differentiate these colors or maybe not used these colors. Again, I didn't even realize when we were playing at first that the card decks were matching the reputation uh, tracks. But we really do enjoy the game. It moves fast. The rules were very easy to learn. We got this to the table right away. And uh, again, we like the idea that, you know, if you want to have, you know, more quote unquote positive loot abilities, you can flip the board and play that way. Or if you like little Shogunstein, who's very aggressive, he likes to, you know, prevent me from having things and taking things away, that you can have the more aggressive side. Or, again, you can use these tiles and mix and match them. So very happy with Libertalia. Highly recommend it. Again, I never played the original, so I can't compare it to anything. So I can't uh, address you know, which version's better or other videos for that. And again, I highly recommend my friend uh, Board Game Bullock's uh, review of this. He's, he's great with these types of uh, videos and his... Uh, Comments on games are always great. So check out Board Game Bullocks' video on this. And also I want to thank uh, 
I uh, was watch it played. Rodney had a good video on how to uh, set this up right away and get it right to the table. So we got it right to the table. We've enjoyed it. Great game, Libertalia. Nice job, Stonemeyer Games. This is the Shogunstein app.